that very first year of the Jazz Education Network, we knew that we wanted to do something to involve student composers. And the first thing that came to mind was to develop a, a showcase. So we came up with a system for uh, having students apply and send their pieces to us. And those pieces then were adjudicated by um, pro uh, composers and performers uh, that we selected. And they wrote feedback on all of that uh, work. And then we selected either four or five or six pieces that were the cream of the crop and had them performed by a professional group. The age group for the, the um, different components here of the showcase are junior high and high school, uh, which are kind of lumped together into one level. Then we have undergraduate students, then we have graduate students, and then last year we added a new category for postgraduate up to the age of 30. I first heard of the Gen Young Composer Showcase from Alan Baylock. Um, he was my teacher this semester in jazz arranging class and you know he knew that I had written this chart and thought that it would fare well in the contest so he encouraged me to apply and so I went through with that. It's cool because a lot of things that you submit you never really hear any feedback about it so this is unique in that I'll be getting feedback uh, regarding the piece. And then the other cool thing about it is the mentorship program and Right after this interview, I'm really excited to go meet with uh, Mr. John Clayton, uh, who's a wonderful composer and arranger and bassist, and so I'm thrilled to, to get a chance to talk with him. My piece is called Jerry's Time Piece, and Jerry was a saxophone player from Rochester, Jerry Nywood. He died tragically in a plane crash uh, from Buffalo in 2004, so it's a piece that honors him and honors his playing. If you're interested in getting involved in the Young Composer Showcase program, please check our website and get involved. We would love to have more students and more teachers and more mentors involved in the future.